All right, we're just about to go and leave to go to, I think Heathrow Airport to go to Japan. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, really excited, uh, honestly, I cannot wait. We're gonna be landing in South Korea and then taking another flight to Tokyo. So I cannot wait. Caesar salad now. So is Martin, Dad. Oh, we got some avocado here. There's my little side salad. Yeah, I'm sorry. And Daniel hasn't got his burger. Mm -hmm. He's got his black bun burger now. <laughs> Should be good. About to board the train now. <laughs> We've got this interactive screen here, this like remote thing which you can play games on, watch movies, that's for like typing obviously. It's like Blackberry. <laughs> um. Alright, so we've got our meal now. I've got some pork rib, pork and rice I believe. Um, with some bread, some I don't really know what that is, it's like salami, some veg, some fruit, and I've got a bit of water there. We've arrived in Seoul now. It would be like 7am in the UK, but it's like 2pm here. It's got a bit of Korean culture over here. And our flight is at about 6.50. So we've just gone through Swiss. About to go and board the flight from South Korea to Japan. We've landed probably around 10-ish. So we've just received some more food on the plane. So I've got a bun here, fruit, some water, some chicken. I've got one of these Japanese dark chocolate Kit Kats. <laughs> that is good. We've arrived and we are now officially in Japan. So we've just left the plane and gone through security. We are here. We need to take a train and take us all the way to Shibuya where we're staying. Tokyo's just over there. We've just arrived in Tokyo, just got some the train, and now we're in the train station. We arrived in Shibuya, uh, we're just sorting out underground tickets to get to where we need to go. Uh, thanks. So we're getting one of these, which is basically like an oyster card, We've got some money on it, just to swipe and go. Yeah, so we're in Shibuya right now, we just need to get two stops to where it says F14. This is what the tube underground station looks like. This is basically like the, uh, the Japanese underground Tokyo area map. Uh, we're here, we're going to be going there, which is where we're staying. I'll probably uh, do my runs here or there, just have the park. So we missed the last train, we were like 15 minutes too late, or two. Um, so I think we're going to go and take a taxi, but this is basically what it's like outside. Loads of lights. And it's just really cool to be here. I'm here at the park now. Um, just trying to figure out how to unlock it. And this one's a bit funny. I'm not sure why. Uh, yeah, there's a vending machine here. Loads of drinks. Japan is so many vending machines here. This is a very traditional Japanese. Uh, tatami? Yes. This is a tatami room. These are your futon. Okay. These are... You have your, you have your own slippers there. Everything is free provided. There's slippers. It's okay. You can bring your shoes here. Except here. Okay. You have your... And your pillows over here. Okay. Okay. I have some food for everyone. Oh, no, you're oh. hungry. <laughs> yeah. I have some bread over here. Yeah. I'm old. I'm yeah. one year younger than you. Uh, got some sake here, rice wine. Got some dark chocolate here. <laughs> 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 
Japaria in Sendagaya. Uh, this is basically the balcony from where we're staying. It's 8 a.m., but it would be like 11 p.m. on Friday in the UK. So today's today. Uh, I'm obviously I could have got some bed head here, but I'm probably just going to go up for a run and explore the area a bit, and hopefully not get lost. Is that seems to be my speciality on holidays and. Then later in the day we'll go and properly explore with our cousin giving us an actual tour of everything that's around. Alright, we're out of the water hat now. We've just left basically. Oh, I'm not really sure where we're headed to be honest. Right, you can go around there. Then you get out over there. And then you go towards the towards the park. Alright. Yes. They don't allow people to run here because it's a sacred place. Oh, okay. So you just go around over there, or you just walk here and go past over. So we just entered the Meiji Jinku, Meiji Shrine. Meiji Shrine. That's where we're going. All right. So before entering the temple, we need to wash our hands like this. And upside down. I'll turn around. And then we can enter the temple over here. Japanese traditional wedding theme. This is what it's like inside the shrine. These are sake barrels. Yeah, sake barrels. No, it's okay, I'll go. Sake barrels over there. Sake is basically Japanese rice wine, which I thought tastes a bit weird, but my family likes it. So we've got some dango here, which I don't know, it looks like puffs or pastry that's being heated over some hot coal. It's interesting, it smells nice. So we've got, we've got 700 yen here to buy two of these dango sticks. It's a sticky rice cakes apparently. A little stick. Is he good? Hot. What's the sauce like? Like caramel syrup. It's sweet and salty. Yeah, it's like soy sauce. This is the this is the part where hopefully I'll be running now in the morning so not getting lost in the streets. Looks like a really good loop route to run. My mum and dad have been lured into a um, like a soap sort of beauty shop. I'll smell it in a bit. Actually I'm gonna have a go so can you and video. <laughs> Come on, it's not that. Come on, please. I'm fine, thanks. Here? Maybe you see that different? Ah! <laughs> Danny wants to go now. <laughs> We've got, is it octopus fried? Fried octopus dumplings. Fried, fried octopus dumplings. We've got some. Egg head, egg tempura sauce. The other one is original. No? <laughs> the egg is good, right? It's good. Yeah, it's really yummy. So, fried octopus. I recommend that. We've 
just arrived at a ramen restaurant. Um, we've got these like sort of bits to put our bags in, which is different. Quite nice. <laughs> so we've got pickled radish here. This is a bit of a starter. This is like my side dish to put on top of my ramen. The ramen has arrived. <laughs> Alright, so we're in a Japanese supermarket now. Some juicy apples here. Some uh, very different assortment of foods here. Um, I don't know what these are. So we've got lots of tinned seafood here. We're gonna try some tinned crab, which is unusual. Um, I don't know if that's like whale. Or something. Got some Pikachu cabbage. Here we've got the main attraction in Japan, which is a Japanese McDonald's. Uh, this is like in the, right in the middle of Shibuya. At the sushi, Genki, Genki Sushi Restaurant, where I can order food on a tablet and just get it delivered to me on this conveyor belt here. Yeah, I don't really know what to order. Uh, what do you, want? you order first. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of like a McDonald's really, just that you get your own screen nowadays. Uh, so you can just tap, see what you want, click, then I've ordered some, just some Mackies on their own. My first plate arrived, um, there was another sliding plate. This is just like some thick sliced omelet to start with. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm now done. Three hugs. Come on, Daniel, please do it. Do it, Daniel. Do it, Daniel. Come on, please. I'm taking the video, though. 